Scientists at British Columbia's Institute of Technology in Canada are leading the way when it comes to solving problems like how to feed a growing population and alleviating the effects of climate change. Climate change will uh, reduce our ability to feed the world because many crop plants currently, for example, wheat and rice, they use a certain photosynthetic mechanism called C3 mechanism. The majority of green plant life on the planet uses C3 photosynthesis, which is more effective in cool, wet conditions. Together with his teacher, Horton Lai, a UBC BCIT student, is currently trying to reverse engineer some anatomical features of drought-resistant plants. Growing drought-resistant plants will help us alleviate this problem because the drought-resistant plants, you can use the different another photosynthetic mechanism. And in this, in this case, uh, the one we're focusing on is the C4 photosynthetic mechanism. Horton is the first of several co-op students that will be working with me on this project. They're working with Sataria in trying to identify which genes contribute to its C4 photosynthetic mechanism. So we're trying to create, using CRISPR, we will knock out certain genes that uh, are responsible for the two anatomical uh, features in C4 photosynthetic mechanism, which are uh, leaf venation spacing and bundle sheath formation. BCIT uses the Gen 1000 growth chamber from Conviron to help with their research. We need to be able to grow them in the exact same condition so that we can really accurately assess the impact of these particular mutations on their leaf phenotype and anatomy. Now, instead of growing Cetaria in their greenhouse where conditions were variable, they're using a plant growth chamber that allows more control over the growth conditions and yields better data. The thing I'm most excited about this growth chamber is that on this program, you can, uh, in, you can insert um, many different um, changes in temperature and uh, light and also humidity. You have the ability to set very specific times uh, for your lighting, and you can also turn the lights on in a, gradation, in a graded manner. And we're also going to be able to uh, assess accurately water use efficiency. So this has been a total game changer for us. Horton's classmates in the biotechnology course are gaining valuable experience working with the equipment. And because the yield has been raised, more students have the opportunity to work with some of the Cetaria plants in their coursework. So this gives us a huge number of plants that we can grow in this chamber. Well over 200 plants that we can grow in a chamber at one time. It's great. Thanks to the Gen 1000, students are gaining valuable hands-on experience with equipment they'll be using in their careers, and it's enabling researchers at BCIT to conduct groundbreaking research related to climate change and feeding a growing world population.